it's Jalen and today I'm super super excited to share with you something that I have been wanting to get for forever. I have been suppressing my desire to get one of these little creatures for like months now and it just doesn't go away. It's always in the back of my mind and I really wanted one and here we are. Hello. If you're not subscribed already, please hit the subscribe button so you can see all of my future videos with my animals and whatever I decide to do. I have my little creature in the box right here and I am very, very excited to uh, rip it open and, well, gently rip it open and share with you guys um, who is inside. Well, obviously you know who's inside considering that it's in the title, but um, we haven't seen him yet. So we're gonna see him together. And I don't know, I I wish I had like a reason to tell you why I wanted one of these, but I just think they're like they're really cute. They're easy to take care of, they're super low maintenance, and they're just like little beetle snakes with many legs. And that's very exciting to me. Go get some scissors and I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting this open very gently and we're gonna see who's inside. I have absolutely no idea if this is a baby or an adult. I just, I ordered a North American giant millipede and I don't really know what to expect. I don't know what size it's gonna be. I don't know, they can get like four inches, but uh, yeah, okay. Always cut away from yourself, children. There's like a little door on the side of the box. Hold on. I want to show you where it says live insects. Covering my address, obviously, for reasons. But um, yeah, live insects. This is where I got it from. Not sponsored, but um, yeah. I'm gonna sneeze. Hey. Anyway. So, I'm going to very, very carefully slide this open because I have no idea what position his little house is going to be in. Very exciting. I'm so scared that I'm going to hurt him. I don't want to hurt you. I'm sorry. Oh god. Okay. I'll put you down for just a second. There's like a whole like little care guide on millipedes and like info about it. Whole bunch of info on my little dude. Time to unravel the child. Hello? Hello, my sweet friend. Look, I'm gonna show you guys the little, little package. One of the little containers that all animals at like Repticon and stuff are usually put in these containers. Um, I'm so excited to see him. Okay, are you ready? Sleeps. Hello? Do not see a bug, I just see leaves what I'm looking at. Do not see bug nowhere, just see leaves. Do not see a bug. I'm thinking maybe if I like look at the bottom. No? Where are you at, my dude? Hello? Gently dig around in here. Oh! <gasps> I see him! Oh, can you see it? He's right there. Look at it! I feel like I'm doing ASMR, but bug style. Hello. I promise I will not hurt you. Look so comfy. Hello. I did not mean to wake you, but I did mean to wake you, but I did not mean to wake you violently. Focus on the bug, not on Jalen. Oh, it's so cute. Hello. They, I think they do this little thing where they like 
When they get spooked, they secrete like a little liquid and it like stains your fingers. Orange, you can't really see it. But yeah, I think, I don't know, it's like a defense thing maybe. Let me read. Come here. I'm gonna do a close up of his face because they have very, very cute faces. Okay, he's chilling on the towel. Let's see if I can get a good close up. Hello. I would like to see your face, my friend. Okay, goodbye. He's just chilling on my hand right now. He literally, he just walks. That's it. I know a lot of people who are like scared of bugs and I have mentioned getting a millipede around them multiple times and they're always like, ew, aren't those poisonous? But no. One, it's not poisonous because it is a millipede, not a centipede. They are just harmless little beetles with many, many legs and they're so cute and very slow. He is not fast. He will not run away from me. He is quite slow. So I got this uh, adorable little terranium thing that I want to put him in and I think that that would be so cute. Um, so I'm just going to put like eco earth and the leaves that he came with in there and moisten it up a little bit. Moisten, love that word. We'll bring you guys along with uh, that process. As you can see here, he is burrowing. I put him back so I can get his little enclosure ready. I have this little bag of creature soil that I'm gonna be using for him. Um, I'm using this because one, he likes burrowing and millipedes like burrowing, not specifically him, but they like to burrow. And this gives him enough moisture. They need enough moisture, obviously, most animals do. Um, and I'm gonna put a little paper towel at the bottom because I don't want any of it to fall out. I'm gonna spray this paper towel when I put it in just to keep it nice and moist. Sorry, I keep saying that word to those of you who don't like it. Okay, so I put the little paper towel in here like this and then I'm gonna go ahead and spray it. And then I'm gonna pour in the little creature soil. I'm filling up just like the bottom with the creature soil because I'm gonna put in the um, dirt that's already in his little enclosure here. Any pieces of food. Like here, he's got a little apple. <laughs> so I'm gonna put that in there with him. Um, they like to eat rotting food because they, uh, they help the environment. They appreciate it. Okay, so I'm gonna need you, excuse me. Where did you go? More apples. Excuse me, sir. Where did you go? He burrows so quickly. Okay, I'm putting this little chunk in. As I'm taking like chunks of dirt out as I'm looking for him so I can um, more easily acquire the bug. Hello? Bro, he left. He is not here. Another leaf. There he is. He's under the paper towel. There's a paper towel in here too. I am going to take the sweet child out of here. Hello? Hi, there he is. Oh, sorry. You, can you see him? He's right there. Hi, honey, sorry I keep bothering you. I'm gonna put him in here. Goodbye. I'm gonna take this paper towel out of here too. And I'm gonna pour the rest of the dirt in. Here you go. And let's organize it a little bit. And I'm gonna put his other leaves in there, his apples. His apple. Another apple. And another apple. Okay. Then his leaves. I'm gonna give him another little spritz. Is that good? Do you appreciate that? He's right there. Can you see him? Also, I'm not concerned about him getting out of here. One, because he can't climb glass and it's also at an angle. So there's literally no way he can get out of there. When he gets bigger, I have this enclosure here that I'm gonna switch up and put him in if he gets bigger. Um, 
I'm pretty sure he will. But fake flowers and stuff in here like this that I'm gonna go ahead and wash off and put in his little house. Okay, his little house is done and he already burrowed somewhere inside of it. I think he's over here somewhere. Um, I don't know, he left, he disappeared. But anyway, there you go. There's his little house. So I really hope you guys like this video. Um, I was very excited to make this and unbox him and all that fun stuff. It's so interesting getting like little animals in the mail because that's not really, you don't think that you can get animals shipped to you in the mail. It's very strange. Please like this video if you enjoyed it and make sure you subscribe if you are not subscribed already and follow me on all of my social medias and all that good stuff. And I will see you guys in my next video. Hope you guys have a good day. Goodbye.